Hello and welcome everyone. I made a sample pack with spectral wavetables over the holidays for you to enjoy. Link in the description. But in this video I want to show you another method how you can create such wavetables yourself without actually having to code anything. And it all works with free plugins. So the first step is to use any plugin that has a white noise oscillator like Synth1 and just let it play white noise. Make sure that it's pretty much white noise. You can check if it's doing that by using a spectrum analyzer. So if the spectrum is more or less flat, then it's more or less white noise. There was a little bit of a dip in the high end, but I don't care so much. It's good enough. Now the next step is to have an instance of TuxPact open. I already have some settings here, but I will reset them. So here's an image of me being cute as fuck uwu, while um, drinking an energy drink. And now I will use this to demonstrate the technique. You can use any part of the image you like, for example, the whole image. And then you just have to make sure that it extends over more or less 10 seconds. I do that by choosing a BPM of 96 and playing a note for four bars. And I think I have to put this to four as well. Perfect. Now next up you have to tweak the parameters to get it to produce the desired effect. Yeah, that looks good to me. Now the next step is to bounce this into a new track. Now you got this as an audio file. Signalizer has a spectrogram view as well. So if you go down to the settings of the spectrum and choose the spectrogram preset, you are in the spectrogram view. And then you can look at what your wavetip looks at in the spectrogram view. So you can see it kind of resembles what we had. You can see my yay letters a little bit. Now you just have to take a wavetable synth of choice, for example, Vital, and then take the audio and drag and drop it into the synthesizer with one of the three modes. The first mode, wavetable, would make it sound like this. So you can see pretty much the same evolution happens now in the wavetable. It doesn't look as interesting when you look at the time domain representation. But who cares about that, right? The real problem here is that it has kind of a crunchy sound. And the reason for that is because it doesn't correctly fade the left and the right part of the signal into each other. And of course it doesn't do that because like why would it do that just because we exported some audio? The wavetables that I created to do that because I took a lot of care in providing wavetables that you can use as is. But gladly there's also a solution for this technique which is to just import it with one of the other modes. For example, vocode. As you can see it still has pretty much the same spectral properties, just a little bit of a different texture or with a pitch splice mode. Also pretty much the same sound. I like the vocoder one more. And now you could theoretically just go ahead and play around with the results even more. Yep, I can see this making a really cool Psytrance sound or something like that. So yeah, that's how you can use TuxPact to create your own wavetables that are a little bit like the ones that I created. Not exactly the same because the ones that I created were created from code, so they often have some sort of logic symmetry in them while importing images into TuxPact has more of a random nature. But I think the resulting sound can be very similar and it's also a cool workflow. So that's why I wanted to show you this. Alright, bye!